What's up folks? So today we are bringing it back to old school, like I'm talking early 2000s YouTube with the what's in my bag video. And plus this video is extra special because it's sponsored by Lululemon. And back in 2014, I did a Lululemon duffel bag review. So now fast forward eight years, the fact that I'm doing a sponsored Lululemon bag review. So it's just like this, you know, full circle moment. And I couldn't be more thankful. Anyways, let's get started. So here is the bag we're talking about today. It's the Go Getter Bag 2.0 from Lululemon. I mean, just look how sexy this thing is the curves the shape look at that and also keep in mind that this is my everyday bag whether i'm going to the gym whether i'm coming to the studio whether i am traveling i use this as my personal carry-on item and honestly some may call it the perfect minimalist bag this bag has a 25 liter capacity so it can hold all of your shit the main thing i really like about the bag is just the shape and how sleek it looks like it's not overly Fancy, it's a duffel bag, you know? It's got these like leather tabs and it's like the perfect height for either carrying because when the handles are too long and you are, you know, possibly slightly vertically challenged, the bags usually drag on the ground, but this for me is like the perfect height to carry with a straight arm, but also to kind of just pull over the shoulder and it works phenomenally. And actually, before we continue on with the bag, can we just take a second to appreciate these pants? So you guys already know I'm a big fan of the ABC Slims. However, the Gen Zs have told me that skinny pants and slim fit pants are over. So these are the ABC relaxed fit cropped. Honestly, guys, I may have converted. It's got really nice leather detailing on the handle, so it's nice and padded and comfortable. It also has the same padding on the bottom, and it also has like an abrasion resistant water repellent fabric, which is essential if you're living in Vancouver and it's raining all the time. Also, I don't know if you're ready for this. Two water bottle compartments. Are you, are you kidding me? Like just look how easily accessible these are. It's got like this like outer sleeve layer. The zippers are up here, so it doesn't interfere with the zipper opening, but it's just so like genius. Come on, who thought about this? I think it makes sense to start on the outside. It's got this like little zipper compartment for all your quick grab and go items. It's got my card holder, my phone, and then of course my keys. And this actual carabiner is from Lululemon. Just look how adorable it is. And if you didn't know, carabiners have great bisexual energy, so would highly recommend. Yeah, it's just nice to have everything just super easily accessible here on the side of the bag. We already talked about the two water bottle compartments. I talked about this bottle before, but I really like is that it's got two different holes, yes. So you can either, or you can just sip and then this one i have as like a secondary one if i need to shake some greens in here or a little bit of pre-workout i don't like tainting the water bottle i just want to keep it pure with water um, which is why i carry two. First thing inside of the main compartment of course we have our gym shoes these are my daily trainers these are the nike metcon six or sevens can't remember they're all pretty much similar at this point when you're looking for a really nice gym shoe for resistance training you're mainly looking for something that has a very flat sole you don't really want anything too cushiony or gummy um, those are great for running however when you are doing resistance training you essentially just want a nice stable platform you definitely don't need to spend this much money on gym shoes um, or like anything to get a good workout for that matter a ton of people lift in like converse or vans you just want something stable with a flat foot should be good to go next up we got a very nice large laptop compartment in here it holds up to 16 inch laptops so for my work stuff I got my iPad of course my laptop as well and then just a bunch of dongles and cables but that just tucks really nicely within the laptop sleeve next up in the little kind of like side compartments we have got a headband because my hair is getting so freaking long I think the plan right now is to go for a little mullet situation, but I have very, very straight Asian hair. So it kind of just looks like a broom right now. But anyways, uh, this is the Metal Ventec headband. Um, very big for my watermelon sized head. Um, and it just keeps the hair out of my face. Super breathable, super stretchy. If you're looking for a headband, 
Really like this one. And of course, we've got the Athletic Greens travel packs, just in case I forget or I'm not at the studio. I have this and the spare water bottle and just quickly shake it up after my workouts. And then when it comes to my gym clothes, I like to keep them separated. Um, this is just like the bag that you get when you shop at Lululemon in stores. Um, that way it keeps my dirty clothes somewhat, you know, compartmentalized. First up, we of course gotta have clean underwear after the shower. So these are the Always In Motion boxers. Super stretchy, super breathable, and just so, so comfortable. These are definitely not the cheapest underwear. However, I can assure you, 100% worth the investment. Next up, you guys already know, we got the Surge shorts. These are in the four inch inseam. They're meant for running, but I like to wear them for training just because I like how sleek it is. Um, no pockets, which I prefer when it comes to like workout wear. And I just feel like it's very flattering. Um, it's a straight fit. It doesn't like bow out weirdly um, and it just, it just works, you know? And lastly, this is probably the newest addition to my workout wear. Um, this is the Dry Sense Short Sleep. Now, I have been a diehard Metal Ventec shirt wearer for the past, honestly, almost 10 years. Like, it's been a very, very long time. I love the Metal Ventec. They are by far the most breathable, sweat wicking workout shirts I have ever tried. Lulu came out with the Dry Sense shirts. Um, I tried the long sleeve on last month, so of course I had to get the short sleeve. And they are just so buttery soft. I will say, however, this shows sweat a little bit more. Maybe it's the color because it's dark gray than the metal Ventex, but I personally don't care for that. These just feel so good. Plus it's got like this swooped hem at the bottom. Um, so if you're into that, this is very nice. I also like how it fits around the chest and the arms. It's got a nice armpit gusset, so it allows for a lot of mobility. I really like the curved one because I like to tuck in my workout shorts so that A, they don't get in the way of training, but also B, shows off your booty. And if you're not showing off your booty, what's the point of going to the gym? But yeah, instead of just talking about the workout where let's actually go work out. So as you saw, a very sweaty workout. Gonna have some greens. But yeah, folks, that's pretty much it for like what's in my bag, gym bag, work bag, travel bag edition. If you guys have any questions about like the bag itself or any of the products in the video, you guys can comment them down below and I'll try my best to answer them. Once again, a big thank you to Lululemon for sponsoring today's video. It's just crazy that like eight years later, I am doing another <laughs> Lulu bag review, except this time, it's sponsored. But yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching and remember to be less shitty.